Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Hope you're all good. It's Monday, so that means it's Titanic Day from Hatchet Parkworks, and this week we're doing issue 22. Now, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button, press the bell notification not to miss out on any future videos. And if you do enjoy the video, guys, give it a big juicy thumbs up, comment down below, feel free to share the video. But without further ado, let's crack on. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel as I said just earlier. Right, we're on issue 22 of this wicked build, this magnificent ship, the Titanic from Hatchet Parkworks. So without further ado, let's get this magazine and the parts opened. Guys, I'm really appreciative of the views I'm getting on this at the minute. They seem to have gone through the roof, which I really do appreciate it. But not to miss out, guys, on this wicked build. I can't call it anywhere. I can't find the words to call it. Please subscribe, guys. Smash that subscribe button, like button, and also press the bell notification so you never miss out on a future video, even if it's just for this build, guys. Hopefully for the old channel. But you know what I'm saying. Right. So, as you know, guys, if you're a regular to the channel, this is how the build comes. You get your magazine, and then you get the items, whatever you've got in the issue, in a wicked box like this. I keep saying wicked today. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, in a brilliant packed box like this. So, right, let's have a look through the mag before we crack on with this um, this week's issue. Let's make sure that's in shop for you. Right, so, you've got the usual stuff, guys top information the titanic on the front page basically telling you when it was um on the newspapers back in the day when it was first set, um, set sail there you go standing there the titanic disaster great loss of life that's obviously when the, the titanic sank but as i've said before guys these magazines they're, they're a good read i've not read them but i would i would bet on it that they're a good read to read between your building issues Right, this looks an interesting one this week, and guys, it's got windows for the superstructure. That's what we're doing, and then it looks like we're finishing the the chimney off, the second chimney, which we've already done one of those the other week, I think. So yeah, you'll know the score with that. But they've, what they've done, which, which I love about this build, what they've done, they've not made it boring, where you're doing continuous like, because there's going to be four chimneys in this build, obviously. Now, if there was doing a chimney every time you did it and it was just doing the chimney, that would get a bit tedious, I think. I won't mind, but it would get a bit tedious of doing the same thing on an issue, if that makes sense. So what they've done, there we go, going to end up with two chimneys done. But what they've done is they've mixed it up a bit. So you're doing the same as we did the other week. You are also doing something else to keep it fresh, if that makes sense, while you're doing the build. Like this, we're doing the windows today, like I've just said, in... The superstructure so yeah guys i'm just going to get the parts and we'll see what we've got this week and then we'll crack on with this build so at the top of the screen there you can see the superstructure i'm going to leave that to the top a second because that's what we're going to be doing this week well the first part of this um, video is putting the the arched windows into those gaps on there <laughs> this might be a complicated complicated one this week guys so we'll see not sure if it's going to be an easy one, but we'll see. Might not be as bad as it looks, but I did say a couple of issues ago. I don't know if you've watched that. Check it out, boys. It's not going to stay this easy for too long. Let's just check this box. That box is empty. Now I think it's starting to get a bit, not complicated, but a bit more of a challenge, should I say. Right, so the parts we've got this week, guys, is 22A, which is this black and red wire. That's the extension cable K2 for the second funnel, which is going to be the one in my storage at the minute, which we'll get out a bit later on. Then we've got 22B, which is going to be these big arch windows. I don't know if you can get yeah, there you go. So you've got 22B there and then 22C. It's going to be, go, be called the rectangular windows, which is obvious by the look of that. So you've got the rectangular windows, which is 22C and 22B, of the arch windows now this is like um, a metal feel the metal so these are going to look pretty cool guys like a rustic feel it's not just a, a sticker these are metal and they're on sprues obviously so we're going to take those off there and then you've got 22d I'll put that down there a sec this is the led strip j2 
and in there you've got some AP screws as well. So what we'll do is put those to one side. It says here we've got three 2.3 times five millimeter PB screws. Then an AP screws. Right. Why is it saying PB screws? Never mind, it's got AP screws there, we'll carry on. Don't worry about that. Right, so first of all then guys, it's saying take 22C, which is the rectangle windows, and then what we've got to do is take these off the sprues. This is instruction one, by the way. It says no, the windows are small and delicate. Work on a clear, clean surface and handle parts carefully. Right, so what it's asking us to do is one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. You've got twenty-five, that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five there. We've got to take out twenty-five out, put them to one side, and then we'll see what we've got to do in instruction two. Now, when you're taking these off the sprue, these little rectangle windows, you can see how small. Let me just focus on these are. That's on my finger. They are very tiny, guys, very, very tiny. Now you don't want to be losing these, especially if you're doing it with carpet in your room or anything like that. You're going to be having a nightmare trying to find them. So just make sure that you keep them safe. What I'm going to do is as I cut one out, I'm going to put it in line with the window where we're going to put it in a sec. Now it's saying to you, obviously have a cut mat and a sharp craft knife. Now I haven't got one to hand to be fair, I do need to get one. But it is doable if you're careful just to gently twist it like that. Be careful guys, because they will bend and you don't want to get in these things damaged because they're very delicate, as it says in the instructions. So if you just do that and gently just persuade it like that, see how that's dropped, but luckily it's on the table, so I'm okay. And then I say, try and pick them up. Very fiddly guys, very fiddly, but all cool. Don't worry. <laughs> but there you go. Look how tiny that is. That is so small, but you can do it. It is doable. If you ain't got a cutting knife, if you have, brilliant. Um, now what, it's, what we've got to do is put them by the side of the windows. What I'm doing, as the instructions say, you've got a little line just there. That's going to be the top of the rectangle of the window on the superstructure. So I'm just put them that way around and then line them up in front of the windows. And then what we'll do, see what we've got to do from there on, we would presume we've got to glue them and attach them to the superstructure. So yeah, let's crack on guys and get these 25 rectangular windows out the sprue. Okay, so that's all the rectangular windows cut out the sprue. Now, that probably took me about three or four minutes, guys, to get those out without a cutting knife. I do recommend you get a cutting knife, really, because you can see here, the little lips have stayed in the sprue where I've done them, so you're not going to get any jagged edges on the windows. But keep in mind, guys, you don't have any jagged edges on the windows because you're going to have to sand them down because it's going to look a bit shoddy on the actual model. So, yeah, if you've got a cutting knife, guys, and a cutting mat, Go with what the instructions say, but it can be doable if you ain't got one to hand. Don't stress about it, just take your time. Be careful not to bend the windows because this metal is cool, but it's going to bend if you bend too hard, put too much pressure on them. So yeah, that is those done, the rectangular windows. That's instruction one. They're all, you might not see them on the camera at the minute, but they're here, lined up in front of the superstructure. And then the spare ones I've got down here. So what we're going to do is look at instruction two now and see what it's telling us to do. It's basically what I had a feeling it was going to say do. Uh, the windows 22C, which are the rectangular ones, what we've just cut out, it's going by 22C, have to be fitted to the superstructure, which is this thing here, obviously, uh, 14G. Start on the starboard side and align 12 of the windows with the 12 openings, one at a time, Apply a little super glue, I thought that was going to be the case. Don't want to drop it off to the recessed rim around each opening of the stick. It, yeah, sorry, around each opening and stick each window to place. It might be easier if we prop up this superstructure like so, which I thought I was going to do that anyway, to be fair. So what we'll do is we'll just get, 
little screwdriver, put the head of that under there to hold the chimney. And then what we'll do, we'll start sticking these windows into here and then see what the result is, guys. So let's crack on. So yeah, I've applied a little bit of glue, guys, to the rim of the window. Get your tweezers. Basically put one end in. And just gently pop that in there. Now that was easier than I thought, to be fair. Now you can use um, a cocktail stick to put the glue on if you want, just in case you're worried about how much glue you're going to put on. Because you only need a very little spot. So that's why I'm concentrating in the minute because we don't want to put too much on. Yeah, guys, and when you apply these um, rectangular windows, as I said earlier, just make sure you've got the, the little recess window, whatever you want to call it, at the top of the frame, at the top, because that's how they want you to put on to the model. Now, the easy way to do this is you could do that because so they're not going to fall through because you've got like a lip let me just show you if you look there you've got like a little lip so they're not going to fall through it's basically just placing on to the superstructure which again guys this build is dare i say it not hard at all i mean it's a bit fiddly at times like any model building but there is no really hard parts to this um, build. There's some testing times with it, if that makes sense. Like where you've got to have a steady hand and things like that. But it's nothing that can't be done. So basically, guys, what you've got to do is rest that above the hole like that. And then just move it into, into line of the grooves. Make sure it's even. Because I don't think the Titanic had cocky windows, like cockeyed windows, should I say. If that makes sense, you don't want. Not straight windows. There you go. So that's three done. Right, I'm going to just put this last one on here. Well, the fourth one. And then we'll put it on um, time lapse to get through these. So I know you guys are busy out there. You don't just sit me doing this for another five minutes. And you've got the gist now, guys. So yeah, there you've got one, two, three, four, the four first um, rectangle windows on the superstructure. What we're gonna do is do the rest on here. Time lapse, guys. If you don't know that, it's just obviously with the video going a bit faster, so we can crack on with this. Um, and then I'll tell you at the end of it exactly how long it took to put these windows on. too hard it's probably took about five minutes to put both sides of these windows in the superstructure you start off on the um, starboard side but basically guys just bit, a bit of glue in the rims because like a, a, a lower bit of the rim and then just drop the, the window in basically it's not hard at all just take your time you'll get a rhythm going and then you'll be fine and then after the you've done the starboard sign then you move the port and the superstructure around and then you do it in the other side, which is the port side. And that is the finished result of those windows. The only thing I could say is do use um, a cocktail stick, which I'm going to get hold of some for when I've got to do this again. Because you can't really see it whether you can on camera. There's a bit of a shine where the glue excess comes out of the frame of the window if you're not using a cocktail stick. So what you could do, obviously, is use a cocktail stick to go around the rim of the window. And it'll just make it a bit more... A lot more neater than it looks but you can't really tell guys i'm happy with that 
just a bit of excess glue out on the outside but I've got a feeling we're going to be putting something on here eventually anyway it's not going to stay white I wouldn't have thought so it should be okay but yeah that is instruction up to instruction three done I thought to just put it on time lapse guys and go through that quick because it's obviously going to be a bit tedious you just keep watching me do every window 25 windows but that is the finished result for that so yeah we'll turn over to the next page now let's see what we've got here oh I thought so now we've got all that again on the other um decking but these are with the the arch windows so yeah we've got all that again and then we're going to be fitting some led lights to the other decking so i'm going to pop this to one side for now and we'll crack on with the arch windows right so we've got to cut 16 of these arch windows out but as you can see it's not too hard to do just make sure you keep an eye where you're putting them because they're so easy to lose <laughs> Uh, the joys of editing just you didn't see but basically it took me a few minutes to find where I'd put them on my desk because they must have pinged about and they do slide about a bit and I was panicking a bit but yeah I found them obviously but just be careful guys because they do fly about these things do especially when you're cutting them out if you flick them too hard you're going to flick them across your room and you probably ain't going to find them or well, not for a while anyway but yeah, while I'm just doing this, guys, I really do appreciate all the subs I'm getting at the minute. Um, the last week alone, I've got a fair few subs, which I'm really happy about. And do really appreciate it, guys. I really do. Taking your time to subscribe to me and watch what I'm doing. And hopefully entertaining you guys. I do really appreciate it. I can't say that enough. And that's not creeping around you guys or anything i'm sure you know that it's just showing you my appreciation and really do appreciate it but that's enough of me kiss ass in there <laughs> just hope you understand where i'm coming from so right we've got to how many we got here and um, four eight twelve yeah four more and we ain't got to use the bottom four at the minute i'm not sure if we're going to use those until another part of the um the deck the superstructure but this is the second superstructure we're doing and i think further in the video in a minute we're going to be attaching the other chimney and some electrics and then we have done two chimneys guys and two superstructures and i'm not sure the done completed but we have um we've got two on on the way so Rob, what we're going to do with this thing guys this is not attached remember if you've watched a previous video so i'm going to put that up there in a second what we're going to do is we put all these arch windows here one there and then what we'll do is we'll turn it round and put these in there but yeah this is i'm not sure when we're gonna have to glue this in but i've not been told to glue it in as yet in the instructions so i'm not gonna because you don't glue anything in guys unless you're told this thing's alive yeah let's put that there it's gonna keep falling out anyway but yeah don't glue anything guys unless it tells you because you're gonna have a whole lot of problems if you've got to take it out for whatever reason so yeah, I'm going to put this on time lapse again and let's crack on putting these windows in. Right, so we've done all these windows here, guys. On this superstructure and now what we've got to do is put some more another one two three four five on this side as you can see this instruction here that's what we've just done and now we're on 60 instruction five and um, doing the five more windows on this side we've still got some windows here but it's not saying put those on yet i don't know why that is but we'll just follow what it's doing so what i'll do is i'll just Leave me playing now, not put you on fast um, time lapse, just while I do these last few. There was a few fiddly windows just on that one. Um, just one of them things, I think. I don't think it was anything to do with because they're arched. But they kept bouncing about. Well, I'll show you now live. Hopefully how easy it is to put them on, he says. But there you go. Just knock it in the groove. Make sure it's straight. That's that done. Now, you can, if you're feeling confident, just put a bit of glue 
on each window like so but you would be better using cocktail stick guys i'm going to do that in future um just so you don't get any excess basically but it is doable if you can't get hold of a cocktail stick like this just get a steady hand don't rush don't panic and you'll be fine let's just put that there but yeah i think this has been the most um busiest issue so far and that's why hence i'm putting um putting it on time lapse to do these windows because if not you're going to probably be watching another video or more because it's just time consuming this one and what i like to do is just show you what i'm doing as long as i'm doing now and then you can obviously have a gist how to do it and crack on with it yourself if you're doing this build and um, without having to just sit an hour or whatever it would be see it's a fiddly one this one so i just about too soon guys and i've got a bit of glue on that but i'm glad you see this because if you see it you know obviously i'm building it and not scamming you everything don't always go to plan get in there one and as you can see there oh. glad you're seeing this guys there you go bit of persuasion it'll go in but these are so tiny and once you've got a bit of super glue on them because this is good super glue it sticks and you want to make sure these windows are in straight which is not hard to do as you can see but if you don't hurry up and get into the position you're going to have wonky windows but that's that done looks good didn't it well, like that. that's the other side done the titanic is taking shape guys but yeah that super structure that one is done in instruction five right so now we've got to get the the led and just test it and it goes in this side here make sure it's all working as you can see that's all working that's cool so i'll just take that back out the tester and then what it's saying doing is get this superstructure, turn it upside down, and then if we just get this the way it is on the instructions, like so, we should be careful here, guys, because these are very delicate, as we said in, in the, the last one we did these. So if I just get that, that way round, just like we've got there, and then to what happened, concentrating guys that's why i'm talking slow <laughs> feed the lights through those little holes like so and then as you can see it doesn't fit flush in there so what you do again carefully guys because you don't want to damage anything gently bend these pieces of plastic back and they should says fit in oh, I don't like that cracking noise but it's alright it's fine <laughs> worries me that I've cracked the, the board there we go and I think they're in there we go it's all in yeah, so that circuit board of lights are now in, as you can see. See these little lips that are just um, securing that circuit board, the light board in. This thing here, guys, this keeps dropping out. I'm going to leave that out for a second, along with the stairwell, etc. It's not time to glue that in yet, so I've not, but it just keeps dropping out. So that is instruction six done. Uh, we've also done instru instruction seven which obviously prising those pieces of plastic back 
to get that result there. Now what it's saying do is take the tank assembly from issue 19, which we've got here. And if you've not watched this video before, guys, the one previous to this, this is just to hold the grill in there so we don't lose it, that bit of masking tape. Right, so what it's saying do now is fit the band around the tank. Right, here guys, it's saying take the little clear elastic band and then obviously put around there to hold that um, that wire there. Now, this is the only fault I've had with this build. I've not got it. <laughs> it's not in the, the pack. Right, so that's not a problem. Um, yeah, we'll crack on. And then it's saying connect this wire to the extension wire, what we've been given in this issue. Now this only can go one way, guys. You can't connect it to that side, obviously. So what we'll do is connect that into there, like so. And then what we've got to do is, if I remember right, feed it through the chimney. Sorry guys, that might have been a misled information. You put the elastic band on there, on the funnel. That's if you've got one, which I ain't. And then what you do then is you look at the instructions here. You've got a blue ring, which has got K2 on, which is going to be the biggest connector, which is this one. If you can see, look, it's the difference. Smaller and bigger, the right one. And the right one has got to be fed through the funnel like so let's just get that right through and then pull that around like that and what we'll do is we'll put that in a little loop so it don't get in the way so yeah on the instructions there, as you can see it's hanging out you've got the big connector which is that one at the top of the funnel chimney and then you've got this little one at the bottom so then we'll turn over the page now what we're doing now is adding this chimney to the other superstructure. Now, so on the instructions, as you can see, you've got the ladders facing that way towards the stairwell. And what we've got to do is put this wire and feed it through the decking of the superstructure, like so. And that one's gone in easier than the last one. <laughs> if you watched the last video, guys, it was a bit more tighter fit. So then what we do is pull that right through, attach the chimney, like so. And that's already a sturdy fit, guys. And then what we've got to do, if I put that there, we've got to get two AP screws. Yeah, I'm a bit annoyed where that elastic band is. I'm wondering if it's just fell out my pack and it could be lingering about on my floor or something. What I'll do, guys, before I do an outro to this video, um, I'll take a look around my desk and that and see if it's dropped out if so i'll let you know but the pretty cool um hatchet or if i'm missing a part i'm sure they will send that part in the next issue and then we'll attach it because obviously i'm not using um that generator anyway funnel generator whatever you call it what they called have a look funnel sensor, talking to myself I'll come back to you on that and go on. I can't think what they're called. Do you know what? Because I'm looking out for you guys. Let me see what they're called. Take the tank assembly from issue 19. Fit the band around the tank. Tank. to tank. That's that resolved. Right, let's put these screws in here. Remember guys, these are AP screws. And these are going in nice and tight. We don't want this chimney falling off when this Titanic's built, do we? <laughs> nope. Right, those are nice and tight. So as you can see there, that's where you put the two screws. And then what it's saying do is just put a little bit of a bow in the wire, just so you ain't got too much excess wire. So you're left with those two pieces of wire just there, if I turn that that way around like it's in the instructions, you've got this wire here and this wire here. That's the two pieces of wires. I'm not gonna bother tying that, it's not too bad, that one. But yeah, that is it. So we've done all the windows today, the arch windows on that superstructure and on that side. 
we've attached the chimney second one we've done and then here we've got the tank which should have an elastic band on there which i'm hoping i'm going to find in a minute just to attach that so then what we're left with guys at the minute after this week's issue we've got two tanks like so and then we've got this superstructure which if i put the stairwell back together in it like that put the roof on i mean we've not been told to glue this yet so i've not and let's put this little gimmicky thing on here chimneys or whatever they're called you can see i'm a bit annoyed can't you guys today about that and <laughs> um, let me check this way this is where we go yeah. i'm surprised we've not had to glue this you know because it's going to keep dropping off but that goes in there like that that needs bending back a bit but i'll sort that in a minute So yeah, we've got that out of this week's issue. Be careful that roof don't fall off again. These two tanks, and then we've got one, two, three, four uh, arch windows left. And that is it for this week's issue. That was a big one, guys. Issue 22. Right, guys, that is it for this week's issue. It was a full pack one this week, guys. It was a busy one. Um, which I love because we put all the windows in now on the two superstructures. We'll attach the second chimney. Oh, and before I go as well, I found it that little elastic band. It was in a little jiffy bag sort of thing. It fell on the floor, but it's easy done, guys. So just be careful that when you're opening your your packages, your your issues, not to lose anything on the floor like that. But that is done now, so nothing to worry about there. So that will go into storage now with the other one. Um, but yeah, that is it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big juicy thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and press the bell notification so you don't miss any other future videos of the Titanic or anything else on my channel. Um, and just before I go, there's a new content come to my channel, which you've probably seen by now, hopefully, if I've edited it together, but it will be coming. Hopefully you've seen it by now. It's the Meerkat toy collection. If you've not seen that, guys, take a look at it. It makes you smile, even if you're not into meerkats or whatever the toys. Just have a look at this, guys. Take a look at it. And if you like it, give it a big, juicy thumbs up. It's making me smile just talking about it. So that's going to be on the channel for the next coming weeks. I think I've got about 14 of the, the meerkat toys, so that'll be coming. So subscribe for that if you want to see that. Whether your grandkids, kids, whatever you want to go and see it, if you want to see it on my channel. Um, but yeah, that is it for today for the Titanic build. As I've said, for all subscribers I've got, appreciate you guys. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more, smash that subscribe button. Give it a big juicy thumbs up. Comment down below, feel free to share the video. And take a look at my channel guys as well. See what else, if there's anything else on there that you want to watch or see, hopefully. And if you do, as I say, smash that subscribe button for us. Big thank you to all the new subscribers. See you soon. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.